Hi there, Kelso here with another Fracture State Development video. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about troop movement and steering behaviors. So first things first, what you're looking at here is working multiplayer. I'm uh, playing myself on two different computers in a local area network and you can see me moving my guy around there. Um, you know, left clicking to select him and then right clicking on our terrain to get him to move around. This steering behavior is pretty rudimentary. It basically just turns to face the target, or rather snaps to face the target, and then moves forward until it gets to that target. So it's pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot of evaluation going on there. Um, and you can see there on the other computer I'm moving my guy around and he's moving, you know, all synchronized on this particular simulation. So then I'll finish it off by taking my guy and right clicking on that enemy unit and he's going to move into position and shoot that guy. So I win! Yay! Uh, in this next steering behavior, so we sort of decided to iterate on that a little bit, this implements some physical properties for the unit itself. You can see my little cube on the front that determines which way this guy is facing. So this takes into effect a maximum speed for the unit and also gives him a mass. You can notice how he gradually speeds up to a stop top speed. Um, it takes him a little bit of time to get up there. It's not an instantaneous kind of thing. He's still snapping to look at his target, which is not what we want in most cases. Um, and then one thing you'll also notice as he's kind of moving around, if I set him off on a particular sort of destination and then change his destination, you can see he slowly starts to turn, but he doesn't quite make it and ends up moving off into oblivion. Now, this is because we don't have any kind of turn rate data in there. It's basically like taking a car and going at 100 miles an hour and only being able to turn a certain amount and never being able to slow down. So with this, we implemented a turn rate into that same physical property. So you can see here he's gradually turning. Um, this is more for like an infantry who can turn as he's running. You can see he turns pretty quickly uh, and his maximum velocity gets affected by that turn. And then we can change those properties around to simulate different types of moving bodies. So in this last entry, it's a little bit slower. Uh, so this could be more like a big truck or some other kind of vehicle that turns very slowly. You can see it gradually turns towards the target and slows down automatically as we uh, get there. So the great thing about this is that it's all just controlled through the unit data. We can change the max, the top speed, and the turn rate all within the data file uh, to simulate a whole bunch of different kinds of vehicles and infantry or whatever else we really want. Um, so that's all for this video. Please remember you can follow us on Twitter, uh, like us on Facebook, and watch us on uh, MyDB. We have a profile up there. And uh, please rate and subscribe to this video, and check back soon for more development videos for Fractured State. Thanks. Bye.